Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and today is Top 5 Wednesday. If you are new to Top 5 Wednesday, I will link the Goodreads group down in the description below. I'm really excited to do this video because it's my first time participating in Top 5 Wednesday, so I'm just going to get into it. This week's topic is favorite book covers, so I'll be sharing with you five of my favorite book covers. Coming in at number five is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. If you don't know what this is, this is the novella bind-up for the Throne of Glass series, and these stories take place before the events of the first book, Throne of Glass. I really like this cover because I think it perfectly captures the heart of Selena's character and everything that she's about, and I really like the way that the gold goes well with the purple. It was really hard for me to pick a favorite Throne of Glass book because I love all of the covers so much but I ended up going with this one. If you don't know what this series is about, it follows the story of Selena Sardothian, who was an assassin once captured by the king and thrown into a death camp um, working in the mines. And the first book begins when Selena is offered her chance at freedom as she agrees to compete in this competition to become the king's champion. And essentially, if she wins, she will have to be the king's assassin. Number four is The One by Kira Cass. I chose this one because honestly, I just really love the dress and I love the simplistic color scheme of this. If you don't know what this is, this is the third book in the selection series. And this was actually originally supposed to be the end of the trilogy, but the series got extended into five books. So this is the third one. And I really only recommend reading the original trilogy. I think, I think it is much better if you decide not to continue on with the rest of the series. But if you love the characters in this story and you love the world, I do recommend continuing on. If you don't know what this is about, it is set in a dystopian United States and in this kingdom history has basically been erased and no one is educated on the history of America anymore. Therefore, no one even remembers that America existed. And the country is now run by the royal family and the prince of this family has just become of age to be married and it's custom for this country to hold a competition to win the prince's heart and become the queen and it offers any girl in the kingdom a chance at being a royal. And this story follows America Singer who was born into a low income family and she happens to get chosen to be a part of this competition and there's romance, politics, and a lot of angst. So if you like a fluffy, fun, guilty pleasure read, this is for you. And coming in at number three is Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. And this is the first book in the Grisha trilogy. This is a fantasy story set in this beautiful, magical world. And this story follows Elena Starkov, who is a soldier in the King's army. However, one day she accidentally reveals that she has magical powers, but the particular powers that Elena possesses have never been seen before. And she is recruited. She is recruited to be a part of the special army for the kingdom, which is completely made up of people with special powers. And I really recommend the series if you have not yet read it. And number two is Every Day by David Levithan. I chose this cover for number two because I love the muted color scheme and I, for some reason, really like how there's just like random people falling from the sky. It doesn't really have a lot to do with the actual plot of this story, but I think it's a gorgeous cover. And this book follows a person who only has a soul. They do not have a body of their own. So every day they wake up in a new person's body. They live their life for a day and then the next day they wake up in someone else's body. They are never in the same body more than once. And this story really kicks off when the main character ends up falling in love and they have to find this girl every day and they hope that she will love them in return. And coming in at number one is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. I love this book cover. I love the colors. I love the staircase turning into a rose. I think it is gorgeous. And the actual story in itself 
is good too. This story is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It is probably the closest retelling I've ever read to the Disney version. However, it is a little bit more complicated. The magic system kind of gets weird at times, but I did enjoy myself. I do recommend this retelling. It is close enough to the original story, but it is also very much its own. And if you really like retellings, I think you will enjoy this one. But I also think even if you don't enjoy retellings, I do think you will like this book as well. And that is it for this video today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Comment down below what your favorite book covers are. I would love to know. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!